<laughs> that this that this happened. I was trying to bring this up last episode. Okay. <laughs> These niggas low key laughed at me when I brought this up. See, I, they shamed you a little bit. A, sh- a little bit of shame. <laughs> I didn't shame you. They're they're like, why do you why do you even know about this? I'm like, look, I'm trying to look out for everybody. Okay. Semen retention. Mm-hmm. Speak on it. So okay, well I would like to know what, what what's your definition of it? Like what what did you try to bring up that they shamed you for? Give me a little bit of background. All right. So what I've what I've read upon, you know, on it and, and seeing is that basically um men have a tendency nowadays to either, either through masturbation or through sex just like expel you know um their their seed mm-hmm. um like every day rapidly mm-hmm. ejaculate ejaculate you know yeah. what I mean? and there's <laughs> expel their seed expel their seed <laughs> that's like, really, good really deep, tail deep. Away. <laughs> like super deep, super deep. like you like you read in James mm-hmm. you expel his seed um <laughs> But um, what I'm hearing is that there's value in 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 not doing so yeah so often and and keeping that you know what I'm saying and and you know not just doing so without cause you know what I mean yeah so there's so, another term for it mm-hmm. um semen retention is one of the terms but I pretty much know it as edging have mm-hmm. you heard of it yes edging. yeah edging I've heard basically the term, but I never knew you're bringing yourself to the edge. But you're not really going over. Oh, that's where the term really comes from. So you're, you're edging. Yeah. So does edging require you to masturbate? Well, typically it's either through that. masturbation or through intercourse. Huh. Mm-hmm. Now, if we started getting like real complicated when it came to like like tantric, when you're not even being touched, that's kind yeah. of complicated. But pretty much edging mm-hmm. is when you are bringing yourself almost to climax. And then stopping whatever the action is, whether it's mm-hmm. masturbation or the um, actual act of intercourse, for 30 seconds or more mm-hmm. to kind of reset it. Uh-huh. And then you continue going until you feel that that feeling again that you're about to climax and you do the same thing. It's like a repeat. You stop for about 30 seconds or more mm-hmm. prior to continuing until you yourself as the man is mm-hmm. ready to ejaculate. So it kind of, one, it gives you the power. Mm-hmm. Secondly, it allows you to be able to... <laughs> <laughs> I guess Siri don't know what semen retention Siri is. Yeah. Siri, like, Siri, Siri was like, excuse me, say what? <laughs> Mind your business, bro. Yo, that was for later. Word. <laughs> Them alphabet Word. boys. <laughs> it also allows you to be able to fully, I, I'm talking about from a man's perspective, mm-hmm. fully identify with the female. Because mm. a lot of times, sex can be male-dominated. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong, but it can't be. Mm-hmm. It can't be male-dominated. And a lot of times, people look at sex as the end point is when the man comes. There's mm-hmm. a lot of times when a woman does not come or mm-hmm. orgasm or mm-hmm. feel the ultimate pleasure at mm-hmm. all. Yeah, so some point people, drives that. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So some people, they practice edging mm-hmm. um, to make sure that the woman is ultimately fulfilled. Mm. That's one of the reasons. Secondly, um, just being able to know you're in control of your body mm. gives you a different like kind of self-worth. Right. Yeah. So that's like another reason for, for edging. And then also what I've read, which I thought was really cool, mm-hmm. I read that when a man ejaculates, that your body is actually tra- that's when your body transmits the energy mm-hmm. so that energy is actually being transmitted from you to the to your partner mm-hmm. and you know sometimes once you you can tell me better than I can answer <laughs> but when you ejaculate a lot of times you feel tired yeah. or you feel drained mm-hmm. or you feel like something has been taken from you oh, yeah. when you do and you practice semen retention or edging you don't get that feeling. Right. Mm-hmm. You're able to continue to go for, you know, rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds. Mm-hmm. And it puts you more. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about hey. here, baby? Hey, nigga, take a seat, bro. It you puts ba- you, you more to... in control of your body. <laughs> bro, about to learn some. <laughs> about to learn some shit, bro. Pay attention. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's just a couple of the the benefits of semen retention and mm-hmm. and edging. It's definitely something that's not widely talked about, mm-hmm. but it's it's deep. Like once you get to the point <laughs> that a- you can master it, mm. it's like you live in a whole new life. Yeah. What What sure. about um, <clears throat> keeping that for like I mean like days or you know even like weeks at a time, like not ex- you know not ejaculating. No, or not ejaculating <laughs> for that long. Um. 
because I've heard there's benefits of up for that too. Yeah. yeah, like you, you're able to. The main benefit that I've heard of that is that you're able to keep your energy up, mm-hmm. and then you're able to keep the their energetic purposes or you know your mm-hmm. soul is mm-hmm. intact or something mm-hmm. along those lines. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, you're more focused mm-hmm. because as you said, when you do ejaculate, like, you like it's like you're drained. Right. So you're able to keep your energy up and you're you're it's always a good feeling to be in control of your body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when you feel like you are able to accomplish a feat because in the beginning I'm sure it's not easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It takes a couple of, of chances because mm-hmm. you know when you're doing it you're like you know I just want to ejaculate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But once you're able to accomplish that, it gives mm. you like a, like I want to say like superpowers mm-hmm. in a sense. Right. And I'm a, I'm gonna be, you know, for the, for the sake of you know me, uh, uh, you know the benefit of our listeners, I'm gonna be transparent, you know, and this goes back to how we start our oh, mornings Jesus. and stuff like that. Oh yeah, we're gonna take prepare it. Prepare yourselves. Prepare Let's cover your it. ears. Prepare yourself for transparency. <laughs> um, like I I've I've had a habit of um of 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 jacking off in the morning mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like you know before i start my day and shit. Mm-hmm. You, know, you wake up morning wood you know what I'm yeah saying? man you just and, get rid of it yeah. Yeah, exactly <laughs> knock, it out. Yeah. Knock, knock it out exactly but you know what i found is like days where i've i've not done that i've had like more energy throughout the day and you know what i'm saying or like i wouldn't be as you know lethargic and stuff like yeah, that in the morning and shit so I'm like, ah, there is some benefit so, to yeah, it. Yeah, there's some truth to it. It's true. Word, word, word. Mm-hmm. That I, I agree with you. The same word. The same. Yeah. But, man. but you know, <laughs> same everything. But, I word. concur. All word. those words. But you know, but you know who has these problems? But in the ocean. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> On the days where you said you chose not to go and do, uh, you know, the morning wood and everything, mm. you find yourself thinking more about sex? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. would imagine so because you didn't get to take care of it, it so now you're probably more focused on it. Right. You see a, a, a beautiful young lady walk by and you're mm. like, more intense than right. it would be if you got rid of it. But then there's but that benefit. could also be because you're not in a habit of doing it. That not being a priority. Yeah. Right. You know? So it's like you didn't wake up in the day you for like, five days mm. and you didn't beat your meat. Mm. And but, now you're just it's regular. Right. <laughs> you, know? it's like you wake up with that sexual energy. You know yeah, what I mean? you do. And when you don't but then that could be to the benefit, you know what yeah. I mean? Because if you're somebody who doesn't normally approach people, you know what I'm saying? That having that extra, you know what I'm saying? You'd be like, hey, you know, yeah. what I'm <laughs> give me the that actually yeah. might help. The it might help. It's like, exactly. This is Bill. He jacked off this morning. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You just you see him the and like, He walks away. Hey, how's it going? He's it. like, <laughs> and, and this is Jim. He, <laughs> he practices semen retention. <laughs> Jim walks up all peppy. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a wave. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jim. Lovely outfit, Brenda. <laughs> this is Jim a month later. Jim knows. What to <laughs> see that? Jim knows what to say. <laughs> but yeah. Oh god. <laughs> but um <laughs> that might have been a mini TPSG wildness tangent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know I know it. <laughs> Wait, we, nah, we, he was about to give me the Jamaican. Mm-hmm. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it. I felt it. I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> <laughs>